Hi, I'm Tia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a big old birthday book haul to share with you. My birthday was this past weekend and my husband and my mother-in-law got me several books for my birthday. So I'm going to share them with you today. There are a lot to get through, so let's just jump into it. The first one is House of Dreams. The Life of Ellen Montgomery, and this one is by Liz Rosenberg. This is a nonfiction book about the life of Ellen Montgomery, who is the author of the Anne of Green Gables series, as well as many other books. And I have been reading through the Anne series this year for the first time, and I'm just really interested in reading about her life now. I have heard other people say that this is a really good book, and so I am looking forward to getting to this one. Next is Una Out of Order by Margarina Montemore. So this book is about Una who is living her life out of order. It looks like the beginning of the book she is 19 and then when she wakes up she's like 30 something and then the next morning when she wakes up she's a different age. So she's just sort of going back and forth in time and living her life completely out of order. And I really love stories that mess with the constructs of time and I'm really, really looking forward to this one. I hope that it's a great read. The Surviving Trace by Calia Reed. This is a time traveling romance and I don't know anything about it other than that. Um, like I said before, I'm really into time travel and books that mess around with the constructs of time. So, and this one includes romance. So hopefully this is a really good one too. Next is The Work of Art by Mimi Matthews. Mimi Matthews is an author that I have read a few books from before and I always enjoy her work. So this one is one that came out pretty recently and it follows a woman who is being pursued by, it says he's a sinister, the sinister Duke of Moreland and he's like an art collector and he, she has caught his eye and he wants to marry her, but she doesn't want to marry him. I think he must not be a very good guy, but there is going to be a hero who comes into the scene and hopefully saves her from this marriage that she does not want to take part in. The Lady and the Highwayman by Sarah M. Eden. This is a Victorian romance. I haven't read Sarah Eden yet, but she has been compared to Julianne Donaldson and Mimi Matthews, so I'm hoping to give her a try soon and see if I can find another author that I love as much as those two. This one is another Sarah Eden book, and this is Ashes on the Moor. This one is another Victorian romance. Next is The Best Man by Kristen Higgins. Kristen Higgins is a contemporary romance author and she has so many books out there and I've always heard great things about her but haven't tried her yet. But this one is a small town romance and it follows a woman named Faith who is coming back home to her parents' vineyard and romance is going to ensue. The Happy Ever Playlist by Abby Jimenez. This one is the sequel to The Friend Zone which I haven't read yet but I want to. Um, this one it looks like follows um, this girl who finds like a lost dog and he ends up belonging to this rock star who is in Australia and they end up texting back and forth over the dog and things just happen from there. We Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hogle. So this one follows a couple that is already engaged but they have both been just pretending like they like each other and that they are excited about the wedding and then they discover that they both want out but they strike up like this deal where whoever is the first one to admit that they want out or to call up the wedding has to pay for everything so they're in sort of this competition to see who's going to call off the wedding. Once in a Million by Lindsay Kelk. So this one follows Anna who is trying to get her business off the ground she takes on a challenge from the marketing advertising agency that's across the hall from her business they bet her that she cannot take like a just an unknown person and make them Instagram famous in just 30 days so she decides to take on that challenge and I'm guessing that the romance is going to be between 
her and the guy that she is supposed to be able to make Instagram famous in that small amount of time. Then I got a few of Catherine Center's backlist books that I didn't have already. Um, I don't really know much about these. I just know that I wanted to read all of Catherine Center's works because I loved her books, Things You Save in a Fire and How to Walk Away. So I got The Bright Side of Disaster, Get Lucky, and Happiness for Beginners. Okay, next I have Too Late by Colleen Hoover. This one she published under C. Hoover, and I'm not really sure what the difference is, why she publishes some under C. Hoover and some under Colleen Hoover. I think this one might have been independently published, but I think that this is a romantic suspense or a forbidden romance. I'm not 100% sure. I've just heard that it's a good book and that's all I know about it. This is one that is probably one of my, if not my most anticipated, one of the most anticipated for me. Definitely my most anticipated for May, but this is the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. I had planned on pre-ordering this, but I kept holding out hoping that it was going to be a book of the month club pick but it wasn't, so I asked for it for my birthday instead, and I cannot wait to read this. It just, the cover is amazing, I've heard great things about it, and oh, I can't wait to read it. I think that this is uh, horror or like suspenseful horror. I'm not 100% sure if it's full-fledged horror or just like borderline, but I'm hoping to get to this one soon. Next is The Troop by Nick Cutter. Now this one I believe is a horror book and it follows a scoutmaster who takes his troop of boy scouts on a camping trip up in the Canadian wilderness and everything happens up there. And I heard that this one is pretty scary and pretty disturbing, but it just sounds so interesting and yeah, I'm real I don't know if I'll save this for October or if I'll read it during the summer, but I'm looking forward to that one too. Furies of Calderon by Jim Butcher. So this is the first book in the Codex Alera series, and this is a fantasy series, and I don't know a lot about it, but I believe it focuses around elementals like earth and fire, air water, that type of thing. Um, I've heard great things about this series, so I'm looking forward to it. And you know what? These people right here are kind of freaking me out. They look a little scary. Then the next two are fantasy romances, which I have not read a ton of, but I've heard good things about this author. Um, Radiance by Grace Draven, and this one is Master of Crows by Grace Draven. I think this is the first in a series. And the last set of books is a whole bunch of mysteries. The first one being The Deep End by Julie Mulhern. This is the first in the Country Club Murder series. Then we have Tart of Darkness by Denise Swanson. This one follows a young woman who has just started up her own catering business, but a, I think it's a, a college student? Yeah, um, a college student is found dead at a party at her house, and so she um, is going to help figure out who killed her. Then we have Off Kilter by Hannah Reed. This is the first in a Scottish Highlands mystery and this one follows an author who is going to the Scotland Highlands to research a book that she is writing but the local or the yeah the town sheep shearer is found murdered so she ends up mixed up in the investigation. Then we have A Peach of a Murder by Livia L. Washburn. So I think some of these are recommendations that I got from viewers on my previous Cozy Mystery Haul, but this one follows a girl who I guess is like a really great baker and she is interest, entering this pie contest with her peach pie recipe and murder ensues. Then I have Daisies for Innocence by Bailey Cottrell. So this one follows a woman who runs her own custom-made perfume store. A lot of her scents come from her garden and it's often said, or I guess it really happens, that the scents can influence emotions and of course someone is going to end up dead here and she will end up having to help solve the murder. An Appetite for Murder by Lucy Burdett. This one follows a food critic who lives in Key West, Florida and obviously someone is going to die and she's going to end up being involved in the investigation. Next is Last Wool and Testament by Molly McRae, and this is the first in the Haunted Yarn Shop Mystery 
So this one obviously is going to be a knitting or yarn shop um, mystery and the suspect in here is actually the main character's grandmother and so she has a vested interest in making sure that her grandmother's name is cleared. Then I have Catering to Nobody by Diane Mott Davidson. This is the first in the series and I don't know the name of the series but it's a series that follows mysteries revolving around a caterer whose name is Goldie Bear. Oh, actually, I think the series is called the Gold Goldie Bear Mysteries. Murder at the Breakers by Alyssa Maxwell. So this is the first in the Gilded Newport mystery, and I think that this one is a historical mystery, which I am totally on board with. I love historicals and I love these type of mysteries. So to mix them together, I'm really excited about this one. Live and Let Chai by Brie Baker. This is the first in the Seaside Cafe mystery series. And then the very last one is Yarn to Go by Betty Hechtman. And this is the first in the Yarn Retreat mystery series. Those are all of the books that I got for my birthday this year. I do have a few more that are coming in that my husband ordered, you know, way in advance, but they just didn't make it here in time for my birthday. So I will be including those in my just regular May book haul. Let me know down in the comments if you have read any of these, which one you think I should read first if you liked them or didn't like them. I hope that you are all doing well and having lots of great reading time. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.